up to date here? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously not happy getting beat, um, which is the first thing, but there was a lot of good bits today, a lot of good bits, and uh, the manner of the, the two goals, not, not just the manner, the timing, <laughs> the timing of the two goals, one three minutes in and one three minutes before half time, it was, uh, yeah, I'd say frustrating is uh, the right word. And, like you say, conceding three minutes into the game is never a great thing to do. Did it change how you have to plan to play into the game, or is it the way you play so set this fine? Uh, it, it just makes it a lot more difficult. You want to come to away grounds. You want to try and keep the crowd as quiet as possible. That was that was something I said before the game. <laughs> Don't give them any encouragement early. We know there's going to be a big crowd and they want something to cheer. Don't give them a goal to cheer after three minutes. Um, I thought we then come into the game well. Well took another 10 15 minutes because obviously that sort of start puts puts people on edge but it took 20 25 minutes for us to get in the game then we did then we got our goal and we were looking we were looking the stronger side and go and concede one two minutes before the break from from our own mistakes again it was um yeah, not not great, not great. But there was a, a, a lot of positives out there today. Can you talk about mistakes? Is that something you can tackle as a coach in training? Yeah, uh, it's just uh, it's just the fact that I say mistakes. It's unforced errors, giving the ball away under no pressure. Um, yeah, it's uh, as I say. We we done that quite a bit today. We done that quite a bit. Um, it's something I, I, I'm, I'm massive on, is keeping the ball, uh, as you know. Um, and if you're going to be a passing team, you need people that are going to look after the ball. So we, we won't stop passing it and I won't stop drilling them, drilling them on how to do it and, and, and to play simple and not play Hollywood balls and not dribble down blind alleys, look after the football. And one of the anomalies playing at step one or two is, is this mix of full-time and part-time size. Do you think they just looked a little bit more on it? And is that part of being full-time? Uh, I suppose it's, an, it's got to be an advantage if, if we're um, training three hours a week, Tuesday and Thursday nights, and, and they're full-time. I mean, it's, it's got to be. It can't, it can't not be. But... It's early in the season. I don't know. I'm. We've got the stewards having a race here. Um, I'm not sure you that that was the difference today. As I say, I think it was two goals. Bad times. Talk about managing the game. Three minutes in and three minutes before half time. They're they're key parts of a football match. Um, and that, and it, they haven't done much to open us up. It was our, it was our, um, our giveaways, our, our, our losses of possession. Um, yeah, they're, they're obviously, listen, they're a good side. They're a good side, as we knew they would be. And, and they, they, had, they had spells in the game as well. But there was a lot that, that I, I took. I was a lot that I was happy with today, a lot. And something we're going to see a lot more of this season is this long injury time. We seem to have the ball for 90% of those 10 minutes, but struggle to get a shot on goal. Yeah. Is that <clears throat> how you want it to be, or is that no? Is that something that wasn't? No, that was that was that was another thing I said. For a lot of possession and 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 territory in that second half, we didn't really create too much. I think there was a couple of long shots two free crosses uh, again that'll be something we're, we're looking to improve the amount of possession you've got to be having shots you've got to be putting crosses in the box you've got to be putting them under pressure the back line under pressure um, just the just the details that were, were were slightly wrong today but as I say there's a lot of positives there's a lot of new faces um, relationships need to build uh, and they will they will and then we go on to 
first quick turnaround of the season on to Haven on Wednesday. The two Haven games last year were pretty pivotal in the run to the playoffs. They're obviously side they are hybrid, they train more often. How do you turn it around so quickly so early on in the season? Well we got we we got was it Wednesday night? Listen, that's the that, that's the beauty of football. I've said it to you before. If you don't quite get the result you want on the Saturday at, at this level, we, the game comes around quickly to put it right, and that's what we'll be looking to do. Perfect, thank you, Norwich.